and this is the global cult that I talk about. Uh, and it's basically uh, structured as a spider's web. It's a very, very good analogy where you have the spider at the center, which is obviously in the shadows, and the spider in the end, ultimately, is this non-human force. Right. But within uh, uh, the human world, uh, the spider is the center of this cult. And it basically, at the center of the cult, you'd get them into one room. Right. And then you've got the strands in the web immediately around the spider, and they're the most exclusive secret societies. Many don't even have names. makes them harder to track. And you come out from the spider in the web, and each of the strands of the web is a secret society or a semi-secret group or in the world of the scene, a government agency, whatever. Mm -hmm. But as you come out from the spider, you, you then enter, still in the unseen, the, the realm of the secret societies we know about, uh, the Knights uh, of Malta, the Knights Templar, the inner core of the Jesuit order, Opus Dei, and so on. The inner core, and it is the inner core, of the Freemasonic um, order. And as you then come out uh, uh, further and further um, out from the spider, you then hit what I call the, um, the cusp organizations. These are conduits which are designed to take the agenda coming out of the hidden and to play it out into the world of the scene. Mm 